Well, a very good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Potter's Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Hopton on Sea. This evening's game is another World Open singles game, and it's Mark Royal taking on Catherine Redman. Our match officials for this evening's game, well, our marker is Malcolm Ramage, the umpire Francis Fletcher, and on the shot clock is Neil Bryce. Once again, we're going to now hand you over to the MC for the evening, Mr. Johnny Laugh. Well, thank you very much, Jason. First out this evening is a player with 11 national titles to her name, as well as a former mixed pairs champion, three times ladies world match play trophy winner, and last year she made it to the quarterfinals in this event. Please give a warm welcome to Catherine Rednall. <laughs> this evening has several national titles and a British Isles title on his record. He's a two times Welsh Open champion ranked number 12 in the world. Put your hands together for Mark Royal. Thank you very much, Johnny. Once again, everybody, very good evening to you all. Welcome back to Hopton on Sea, the lovely Potter's Resorts for another World Open Singles. Joining the commentary box this evening, well, it's my double act partner, world number one, Nick Brett. Good evening, Nick. Good evening, Jason, and everybody else. Well, a bit of a local derby going on here. Yeah, one of the one of the ones we spoke about the other day. Jack Lang's twenty-six the first round. meters. Catherine Rednall got into this event as the sponsor's choice. A well worthy recipient of that. Did very well last year, beating Alex Marshall. Played exceptionally well. Yeah, for sure. She certainly likes this carpet at bottom. Yep. She's been busy this week as well, just on a teacher training course. Dashing backwards and forwards for a quick practice here, there. So probably had about three, three roll-ups, I think, on the carpet. Yeah, I think it's all in there about that, mate. One red. Back no, on, is you it? can tell uh, Catherine's ball, one yes. of the, yes. the local girls. Yeah, she left some support in the crowd tonight. Yeah. She's certainly got one on the front row, I can see him. So it's good to see the local support. It's got 
I like it when the crowds are a little bit more louder. A local derby for these two as well, Norfolk, Suffolk. Yep. Marks them just down the road. County borders just literally at the end of the street. It's a little bit risky. Do you think she'll uh, attack this ball? That plant doesn't look good. Yeah, she certainly doesn't want... If she's going to miss, she wants to miss on one of the wider red ones, that's for sure. Doesn't want this plant. Oh, she's run through. Well... <laughs> plant always looked good, Jason. I don't want that. I really didn't see that ball <laughs> stay again. <laughs> One shot, south and red on. <laughs> Zero one, first end. I think when she let it go, she was like, oh. <laughs> Oops, just the one, sorry <laughs> about that. <laughs> Don't worry, Mark, I didn't see it either. <laughs> Gap length, 27 and a half metres. Again, two good opening balls for both the players. Yeah, both will be reasonably happy with the way they started. I know it's really early, but all the balls have been in the area. I think he's just going to get back in time. He's decent though. Well, not far away. Touch on the jack. Oh, brilliant. Two green. Which means business. Good hit. Slightly unfortunate. Opened it out though. Yep. <coughs> Needs to run. That should be enough.
Mm, touch and go, maybe one red. Yeah, from this angle, it looks like one red. It's slightly oh, leaning. I have 30 seconds from the minute the ball stops. Yeah. One shot, Mark Royal. <laughs> Set score 1-1 one, one after two ends. Jack length 23 and a half metres. Adjustments been made for the shot. One green. She's here again. She's the nearest. See, she's using the birds. Yep, the famous birds. Borrowed from Nicky's Arctic truck. Quite a popular set of bowls, them, aren't they, those? Yeah, a lot of the hints like players in past and present still use the green birds. Well, Mark, just going to fall away, but it's a good second. One green. One shot, Catherine Rednell. <laughs> Set score, one, two, after three ends. Only a few days, I think, this year with the, ca the carpet playing just slightly differently. Yeah, I think you've got players playing meters. like exceptional and players really struggling. There's not that you know kind of in between, if you wish. Some people, you know, 
like, like Stuart Anderson, Mark, Jamie, Darren in the pairs, they've been really, really, you know, finding it. And some have been really struggling just to, is it because the pace is just, are you at a disadvantage, do you think, because you know the green only so well? I think this year there's just more of a fine line between being perfect and not. And that's what, you, know, you can miss by a bowl or two and get punished a lot heavier. Someone that's really finding it is getting value for money. If, and if you're, not scra if you're scratching, you're getting punished. Who are really scratching though? Not nope. going decent. Come out well. Mark being a left hander will just get a slightly different line to Catherine Rednall. One right. Mm -hmm. Came slightly back up the rink a couple of inches for shot. One green. Put a stop to that. Cap on the shot. One inch. This is just not going to make the trip. Mark still probably played the draw, but he has got a shot that he could play at the two greens and punch the shot bar onto the jack, but it's not Ten. really his style. No, he does tend to play the conservative draw, doesn't he? Backs himself. If he's played this this time, I, I can't understand why he swapped with the last one. True. He's looking to get to his own, really. Just not reaching. One shot, Catherine Rednall. <laughs> Set score, one three after four ends. Jack length, 28 metres. I always think the bowls look really big in Catherine's hand. She, they look huge. I don't know how she grips them. But she still gets them away sweet. And these are a size bigger than what she would normally play with. Oh, really? There are four, are they? Yeah. yeah. Obviously, it doesn't matter to her. And she gets them away nice and smooth, doesn't she? Good start there from Mark, just what he needed. 3 1 down. Yep. Want to just start stringing a little bit of consistency together.
One red. Well, there's another one in the area. Would have ideally liked to have just slipped past his shot ball. Got to Catherine's. Yeah, just sat back. It was in good bowl, but just sat back. Catherine looking just to get down to this jack. Just the pace. What's the gap on the back, the back one, Catherine? The gap is five inches. to me a little bit carefully doesn't want to do it for her yeah you could just slightly overreach like you say Nick Jack travels quite a way on here doesn't it if you just hit it I think it's still just drawing up to it, isn't it, Nick, on the forehand? Right. Well, she's played such a good, such a good pace all game. It'd be a shame to, but uh, there is a more adventurous runner. But yep. Peel the two away, couldn't you? Be hit the front one, solid in the face. She's not she's normally afraid to attack it when he needs to. So both options are available. It's sometimes just what you prefer at that particular moment. for the second nearest Down. solid. Down. <coughs> Wasn't far away. Nope, just a ball wide. Catherine has four timeouts. Over the seam now, almost. Wasn't far away to be fair, couldn't afford to be too much heavier. One no. shot, Mark Royal. <laughs> set score two, three after five ends. Well, a very low scoring first set. Five ends played, five singles. Yeah, no quarter given yet, really. Some good bowls. No, yep. Yeah. Both drawing pretty well. Jack length, 24 metres. Certainly be what Mark look, looking for. First bowl really in there close. Makes him, I guess it makes you feel like you're in control of the end. Yep, first two bowls are important, definitely. Can't be far away on a decent length.
just the wrong side of it. Yeah, not much adjustment needed from either player at the minute. Mark can nearly play the same bowl, get to his own and fall. Yep. Well, line again is very good. Yeah, this is in for two. Oh, a wiggle at the end. Mm. Just not quite. Once it's just the one. <laughs> Big booming voice of Malcolm. <laughs> Similar options last time. She could go a bit quicker or just yep. a little bit on. Well, good effort, but it's going to be still one. Yeah. One shot, Carson Rednall. Uh, one to Mark Royal, that is. On to Mark Royal, so it's three shots apiece after six. Let's go three ends. three after six ends. I don't think Mark would like to call Catherine. <laughs> Quick Not question here, Nick, actually. Good one. How difficult was it to get back into competitive bowls after such a long time off with injury? Good question. Um, was it slow? Did you have to do any like, rehab with, with your arm? or? Well, I had to build my strength back up because I had no arm. Length 25 metres. Getting back into it after some time off, it, it felt refreshed. So I was quite keen to get back playing. Obviously not as easy because you're know, straight back into the outdoor season by the time I was fit. Yeah, so true. So hurling them up and down, yeah. Yeah, so it, it took me a month really to have the strength. It felt a little bit weak in some games early season, but I suppose outdoors strengthened it up a bit quicker. Well, I think they were quite happy to get me out of the house at the end. <laughs> yeah, she's probably getting fed up of you. <laughs> and I bet you played on it as well. Can't do the hoovering, love. Just got the one arm. Sorry about that. As if I would. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> I suppose it's just getting back to that delivery, isn't it? Actually delivering a, a ball again. Getting the consistency back. Yeah, and it's the odd occasion where they don't come out quite right, whether that's whether that's just some um, <laughs> rubbish or Such a well-behaved little dog that I was having to play with it earlier in the in the outside bits. Well, well behaved, very good temperament. My two would be all over the green by now.
That's still the one. Still 18 inches of room for Mark. Loosest end so far, I think, this one. Yep, I think you're right. Needs to reach. Saved his best till last. Mm, looks one red, I think. You think so? This is in the area now. Touch on the jack would be a bonus. Yeah, well played. There's the ball from Catherine. Two shots, Catherine Redmond. Trying to peer over the top. Let's have a little look. Set score 3 5 after seven ends. Second last end, Mark will be needing to score this end. Catherine, get, if Catherine scores anything, it makes the last end difficult for Mark. Certainly will do, yep. Jack length, 27 and a half metres. good she needs to get up to it now well he's here again oh. Brilliant. Yeah, two right. good ones. It sits nice for whatever she wants to play. She gets the jack solid and goes with it. How short is this front one? How short is Mark's front one? Mark's is three inches. Time out. I say the Time clock out. ticking away. Catherine has three timeouts remaining. Each timeout gives the player an additional 60 seconds. Just looking to open this up. It's to bend. up after this must like it still two two shots well there's another good ball from Mark he was a little bit unfortunate not to get another going again just needs to tighten it up a bolt to come at the end. Oh. 
Mm, I thought she might have had a, a draw with the third. Not much on. So it's a live ball. Yeah, she was looking for contact to open it out with the third one, really. Yeah. Key bowl this one as well. If you can make it three, gives you a chance to lose a one and still get a draw out of the set. Yeah, that's right. Just gives him that shot buffer. He's made it as well. That was a little touch on the the jack. It's played a great end, to be fair. Three yeah. shots, Mark Royal. He's played, he's played really good balls there. Set score six five after eight ten. Yeah, so he's got that shot buffer now. Three cracking balls, or four cracking balls, really. No. Not had a tied set yet this championships. Jack length, 25 metres. Two she needs, inch perfect. Yeah, she won the battle of the first bowls, that's for sure. Yeah, she has sat really well as well. well a quick check of the score. He'll be definitely looking to get in close to that, make it hard for him to get the second one. And he's not far. And giving himself, if he wants to be a bit more aggressive, giving himself a bigger target. Yeah, that's right. An awful lot less room for Catherine to score the two she needs to win this set. What's the gap on the shot? Uh, one inch. One green. Some of us might have been a little bit more adventurous. Yeah, just reaching up to it. Oh, she's clicking her fingers. Just ever so slightly pushed through it. 18 inches off that will be another. I don't know what the angles sit like and whether the, the plant onto the, or her bowl onto the jack would make her green bowl hey, shot man. if it went past. Yeah, that's what you mean. Or whether you, if Mark misses, take the one and try and draw another, rather than going too excited. <laughs>
Closer with this one. Hurry, hurry. Oh, I think she's going to have to play that a little bit more adventurous Our shot now. Four time out remaining. Down the forehand. Depends how far the jack can move to still keep the two green bowls as shots. Just a little delicate nudge. Well, that's not very easy, but releasing that jack may be a foot nick. Yeah, that, that's the perfect shot. It's just whether you could play time time how out. far the jack can afford. If it goes in the two time out remaining. at the angle, it's it with the green bowl. If it went into the ditch, it'd still be the shot. Yeah, I think she's basically, she knows the shot. She's just trying to decide what pace. <laughs> John Rednell in the audience there. He's put his mask over his eyes. <laughs> John also knows what she's looking at. And he's, <laughs> he's, he's saying take the one and run. <laughs> yeah, line a tie at the moment. Well, Catherine. If she can run, she's close. Well, Catherine. Oh, <laughs> what a great effort. That was very, very good effort. Well, at one point, she might have just sneaked into the split. What? What? Watch out, Catherine, Catherine Reddell. Reddell. Tied end. And I think that's Tied quite end. a fair result. Both players playing very, very well. Yeah, decent so far. So we start another set, let's have a quick look at what we have for you tomorrow, well some uh, really really good games tomorrow, two picks of the first round that's for sure, first of all we have 10 o'clock Michael Stepney against Ian Honour, 2 o'clock one of the very interesting ones Robert Paxton facing David Bolt, following that game at around about half past three Stuart that Anderson facing meters. Eric Gallipo of Canada and the evening game the two Jamies, 7.30, Jamie Chesney against Jamie Walker. Definitely don't want to miss that one. Yeah, for sure, some quality games there. Yep, some really good games there. Oh. Eric came over from Canada playing. Came over early playing at the Akel Club down the road. You probably know where that is more than me, Nick. Yeah, not, not too far away from us. Yeah, said he was looked after very well, organised some friendly roll-ups for him and some competitive games. So it's nice to see the overseas players looked after. Green. Before she cast the jack, she stood there for a little bit, just you know, pondering what length to play. And after a set where you know you've played pretty decent, it's been, why would you want to change it? But she just changed it a touch, and two good starts. Yep, two very good starts. That's why I haven't finished in a bad place. Right. 
Well. Doesn't matter what length she said. Yep, that's it. See, just throw the jack anywhere you like, Catherine. <laughs> Take a time, time out. out here. Yeah, remembered. Mike Royal has three timeouts remaining. He looks right out there. Yeah. One shot, Catherine Redden. <laughs> Zero one, first end. Jack length twenty six and a half meters. Another great start. Yeah, she's playing very, very consistent. Pretty good reply. Very good reply. The question came in there about the qualifying process in Canada. Yes, they do play outside. They play at the uh, Woodstock Bowling Club, which is in Ontario, quite close to Toronto. What's the gap on the shot, please? Two inches. Just the one. Good bowl from Mike, but still room for Catherine if she can find a good pace. Yep. Just anything 
in between. Again, this pace looks very good. Just wants to bend. Oh, look at this. Sits back. Oh, great effort. Oh, it's got to be a little careful now. <laughs> Trying to draw in, get the shot. He nudged the jack, could be two. And if he plays the other way, he could sit it in for two. So, Yeah, exactly. That's the worst of two evils, I guess. I think he's probably got more chance of getting the shot off the ball. I thought about it for a second, come back to the other hand. Probably heard you say it, thought I'm not going to play that now. He's told <laughs> James has played it, it's about to be wrong. <laughs> Yeah, just I just thought obviously a dead draw either hand, but the other hand just allows you just to be that slightly little bit too. One quick. shot, Catherine Redknapp. <laughs> Set score zero two after two ends. Someone's asking a good technique. What's your technique for running bowls to, for someone? I just say hit the target. <laughs> well, yeah, you. As if you go quick or you like to control your pace, I like to try and pick my breaking point where I'm going to aim, where I want it to start bending from. Oh, okay. Rather than pick a target, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Because th the obvious target is what you get, what you're aiming at. Really, you you can pick your pace. Because some go just go really quick. Yeah. Length twenty six and a half. Probably meters. not got the shoulders for that. <laughs> your arm would fly off. glide off it. I don't know whether it's done enough. Didn't it? Yeah, it's close. I don't think either of those will be the shot though. Not the way these two are playing. That needs the same little shuffle. Shot, One green. Just needs to run over the top and then back to the centre. Just a foot of running. Just one or two. Still the one. over the top and back to the jack which is somewhere behind Catherine's head yeah we're going to say we've got a great view of that <laughs> thanks Catherine yeah that's definitely the shot one right well there's a couple of options for Catherine she can play the dead draw if she wanted to she could play a little bit of pace and just force something through if she got the split between the nearest green bowl and the red nearly get rid of the the two nearest reds, wouldn't you? Yep. Play anything onto the jack as well. Just concentrate on hitting the target. Well, she needs to hold up. Mm, may have shuffled that one in as well.
good pace. He doesn't look bad at all. Came back sideways. V shots, Mark Royal. Yeah, I thought it was a conservative line, but he got First all the way back. Three, two, yeah. after three ends. You could see how that ball finished was almost pointing towards the jack. Yeah. Jack length 25 and a half metres. Mark's pretty good with the jack, to be honest. I noticed, you know, he's played 25 metre length jack in the, uh, today and in the pairs we did the other day. Yeah, he's very consistent. I wonder whether he actually practices with it or not, or whether he's just that good at it. Back one shot, red one. Yes. That's a little bit of a stray bolt. Unlike either of them in, in this game so far. to make a move with this ball now I want to leave it for a last ball especially just after dropping a three on the previous end needs to drift over the top yeah all on the pace can it get to the red and drop solid and it's in well played one green certainly made sure she wasn't short again Just the wrong side. Literally just a couple of inches heavy, wasn't he? Yeah, that's all. So repeat to deliver it. If you can get a little touch on. on the jack, that'll be perfect. Yep. Drag it. Two shots, Calf and Redmond. So it's called three five after four ends. Yeah, he's got Two thirds of the three back she dropped last time. Now she can have a little think about this one. Slightly further, do you think? 
I think she might just because Mark's been playing the 25. Yeah. Maybe 27, 28 maybe. Jack length, 27 metres. You got that one right, well done. <laughs> Every blue moon. of a correction was needed but it was one, yes. a very good one yeah finish nice and tight to the jack Nice little solid touch with the jack. Yeah, perfect. One red. Finish quite awkward as well now. How short is Mark? Your ball's ten inches short, Jack. Hi. And Mark's as well, please. Mark's about nine inches short, Jack. Hi. Wings quite well this forehand in this direction. It does, yeah. And she's got the if she has enough to lift her own. Weight was probably good enough without with a clean run. Yeah. Mark's trademark tongue sticking out of his <laughs> side of his mouth. Concentration. Yeah. Well, if she's sticking to the forehand, she needs to just get round her own short balls. There is a yeah, twix between the devil and the deep blue, slip, deep blue sea here. If you're just too quick, won't get back down to it. And there's yeah, the only way in is wing bowl and sit, really. Yep, yeah, just get a little corner edge of it. Suppose if she's just slightly overplayed and does land on it, we'll turn it in. What's the pace like? It's in the area. He wants a corner of this, well, a solid corner of this red ball now. Unlucky. Has she done enough to turn it out to make it only one? I think so. Within a foot of the jack. He wasn't far away last time. If he can lose anything, he'll be close. Just pushed it through. Nearly got down to that jack. <sighs> <laughs> big side. <laughs> Very big side. One shot, Mark Royal. Oh. Set so score four five after five ends. It's 
very unusual that we get two tight sets. It's not been unknown. Gap length, 25 metres. But it's standard of this game from both players. It's highly possible. It certainly is. Two great starts from Mark. Catherine are looking to correct on her first. Yep, moving towards the business end of this set. Want to get his nose in front. And Catherine not reaching. You're ready. Well, pressure's on now. Yeah, unfortunately for Catherine, not only she's missed, she's, I think, blocked both runners. Yep, she's finished in a bad position. So, just try and cut as many of these down as she can. She needs to draw to the last bowl, be very good. And not far away, if she's right up. Dan just needs to run. Well, she's left it to her own right. bowl, the last bowl. Three down, I think. Should be annoyed at that. Should be looking at getting at least second with this last bowl. Yeah, anything on her last will save one at least. Oh, Catherine, what's your pace like? Needs to bend now. Well, well, well. <laughs> what a great ball. Yeah, almost perfect, but certainly a massive save. Yeah, a big sigh of relief. One shot, Catherine. Mark Royal. Set score 5 5 after six ends. Very nearly stayed up for shot. She'd have took the one down before she went to back the ball, I think. <laughs> Definitely would. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. <laughs>
One green. Green level. Yes. What a bowl from Mark. Perfect. One right. Catherine be looking probably said to play the same thing. Bowl for bowl now. One green. And she set up a nice little tuck on the forehand if she can get down to the bowl. Yeah, they're all in a bin lid. Time out. Mark has two timeouts remaining. Down. Down. No, Jack. Might both be touching. Yes, he's definitely jumped it in. Might be one each. Hit your magnifying glass out of a quick look. Oh, you're not holding, Catherine. Yeah, I am. You're not holding, are you? Yeah. <laughs> she quickly said yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Thanks, cheers. <laughs> one shot, Catherine. Right on. Let's score five, six after seven ends. what that noise was. <laughs> Mark shut himself or something. <laughs> I just heard this noise. Yeah, length 25 and a half metres. I think you fell over the ditch, I think. <laughs> I'm sure someone's caught it on screen somewhere and it'll be on a clip later. <laughs> TV bloopers. Good starts from Catherine, but a little shoulder for Mark to get into. Uh, 
perfect pace just to bowl wide. One green. Mark level. No, you're half a ball beyond Jack. Hi. Not a good pace from Catherine, might be Burton. Tuna measure. Some weight over the pace for Mark here. Less than most of us would have done, I think, but uh, got a perfect result. Two red. I think it's just a backhand draw for Catherine. Time out call. Catherine has one time out remaining. Use the timeouts well, give her time just to compose herself, important stage of the game. Oh, what a ball. Six in, it'll do it, but I'll be second in a minute. Similar bowl for Mark, just be looking to get to Catherine's or a little touch on the jack, make two or three. Yep. Is he just too quick to get back? Yeah, he is. <laughs> One shot, Mark Royal. Set score six six after eight ends. Length 26 metres. Pretty close to Mark's favoured length. Great starter here. At this for a reply. Oh, she's been unlucky. Too heavy. One red. You mean? One red. <laughs> <laughs> neither, neither will be impressed with that. Always one green. Oh, I better have a time out. <laughs> 
That's <laughs> called. Mark has one time out remaining. Yeah. He's definitely got his finger on the pulse, Mark, tonight. <laughs> He needs to go around the back and cover, I think. Yeah. Well, good hit. Oh, it's gone with it. Oh. What an excellent bowl. Yeah, great hit. Probably going to give Mark a yard or so to get the shot. But only about a foot from the ditch. Now, Mark. He's got a choice of One green. trying to manoeuvre his own bowls either hand. Yep. On the screen, it looks the other hand, but... Twelve seconds to make his mind up. Well, he's chasing this, and he's, well, he's chasing it again. Get well, moving. Mark. Get moving! Come on. Well, mm. one very red. difficult to tell, isn't it? Mark has called it one red. So, mm, uh, I'm not sure when we're sure. Brave call over the ditch. That's a very brave call. It's the about green, two and a half feet. The green bowl, obviously, being more level to the ditch, won't have as much of an effect on the string. You know, the red bowl is level with it, so the string has to go over the, the angle, would you call it, of the ditch? Yeah. Or the height, whichever. Height, yeah, that's a good word. Oh, Catherine. Oh, Catherine Rednall. <laughs> well, some bold to have to, have to beat at this stage. Yeah, now well, that's some pressure bold. But Mark's had a good sight with his first. Yeah. <laughs> he can add a couple of feet, or if he really wanted, he could play, try to play it off up the other side, but... Yeah, well, he's, he's been down, you know. The umpire's had his opinion. Time he thinks out. it's one red. Mark's been to have a look at Mark it, so he'll know in his mind what he thinks it is. If he does think it's just the one to Catherine, like you say, Nick, he could elect to play the bowl. He is doing. Oh. Yep, yeah, I think he is going to play this Catherine Reddell bowl off the green. Well... He's, he's well, looking at it still. Hang on. One shot. Well, Catherine Rednall is one back. shot to Catherine Rednall. And what a fantastic game of bowls that was. It was always going to be a very, very big tussle, that, and, a, and an evenly matched game. Just showed it in the first set, six apiece. Into the second set we went. Six all playing the last end, and what a bowl from little Catherine Rednall to play within six inches of the ditch to take that game and she's going to face Paul Foster in the second round so let's have a quick look at what we have coming up for you tomorrow where we have another game of singles 10 o'clock in the morning Michael Stepney will face Ian Honor 2 o'clock in the afternoon Robert Paxton against David Bolt following that game Stuart Anderson against Canada's Eric Gallopo and then the big one in the evening the two Jamies 7.30 Jamie Chesney against Jamie Walker Thanks for joining us today, but I'm afraid that is all we have time for here from the lovely Potters Resorts. Until tomorrow, it's good night. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.